The Grand Opera House is one of the most important theatre buildings in the UK and Ireland and is Northern Ireland's last remaining Victorian theatre. It was designed by the prolific theatre architect Frank Matcham. The design of the Grand Opera House was influenced by the Far East and is by far one of his most opulent creations. The Grand Opera House was last restored in the mid-1970s when it was saved from demolition and reopened in 1980. So we're very lucky to have this building here in Belfast. This £12.2 million project very much focuses on this beautiful auditorium. All of the plaster work behind me, the decorative plaster work in front of the boxes, the, of course, famous elephant's heads that we have, will all be repaired or restored. Likewise, the original paintings above the proscenium arch, and there are four paintings above in the ceiling, which will be repaired and restored. One of the key features of the restoration project will be the installation of a permanent exhibition celebrating 125 years of theatre going at the Grand Opera House. The exhibition will include a lot of stories from cast members, there'll be costumes, we'll have props, and of course, will include a lot of posters and leaflets, of which there are many through 125 years of operation here at the Grand Opera House. Over the years, audience tastes, of course, have changed. Way back at the beginning of the Grand Opera House's life, variety and music hall was a big part of the programme. Today, of course, pantomime remains a key part of the theatre's annual programme, and 110 pantomimes have been staged here at the Grand Opera House during the last 125 years. 30 years in the Grand Opera House and um, it's, it's, it's gone in a flash. I think why pantomime is so uh, popular, it doesn't matter if you're 9 or 90. Kids love what they see and the parents love it. And I know families who have been coming here for 28 years they brought their kids and their kids are bringing their kids now. And that's why the restoration is happening. It's not for me or for my kids, for my kids, kids, my grandchildren, for them to come and see this. Well, I tell you, I'll pick a real beautiful looking woman and I will see this girl with the denim thing, the shirt love. Just move out of the road, they talk to the girl behind you. <laughs> well, what I, what I love about the Grand Opera House is it is just beautiful. It's so, so important that this building is looked after. I'm looking forward to another 100 years of the Opera House. <laughs>